these are the worst facebook ads to run i'm gonna be going over some of the creatives that have failed for us in terms of they didn't get a lot of spend they didn't really get the cpa we want and i'm gonna break these down in terms of why they went bad yes i do make ads that don't convert sometimes. We spend about a million dollars a month on Facebook ads and we can probably create somewhere around 100 different ads a month. Um, well, actually technically 300 creatives a month because one concept is three creatives. So I'll be going over a couple of these concepts that failed for us and breaking down why so you can avoid some of these mistakes. With that being said, let's dive into the video and go through the first one so the first one right here what i'm gonna call is dwelling in the pain when we call out a pain in the video if we spend too long talking about that pain point what will tend to happen is it bores our customers like yes we have problems we have things that we want to fix but also we don't want to sit there and talk about it too long we want a solution especially too in today's society and stuff like that what will tend to happen is we want that immediate fix right so we want to call out the problem we want to kind of maybe say one thing around it and then go right into the solution but this video does not do that at all this is what i call spends way too long in that pain point so we'll start off with this video i'm just going to kind of like go as this goes everyone talks about how amazing being retired is okay first off just from ideal customer implied benefit and tree curiosity it the hook doesn't even follow our golden hook formula that's just the first thing all right and now we're just kind of dwelling in pain bored unproductive blah 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 okay and now we're going into kind of the solution the product itself all right cool and then the rest of the video just goes into the product itself so a couple things here first off just one easy way to make this just a lot better would be number one just going straight into saying how like this is an amazing new activity that people can leverage who are retired if you're retired you need to try this activity out every night it is so much fun ever since i became retired this is the one thing that keeps me looking forward to each day retiring can be boring but after trying this little thing at home you'll never be bored again and then it goes straight into how awesome and fun the product is next thing just in general the copywriting isn't good on this so first off right here being retired but i found myself with so much free time i didn't know what to do with boom then go straight into the product about five seconds in that's when i'll probably jump into the product and talk a little bit more about it so this is dwelling in the pain there's some other examples i've seen amongst my students and i've seen amongst uh some of my like just team members of some of the ads they create where like it'll literally just be like 30 seconds talking about the pain and it's just like look people you need to call out the pain or the problem to like hey if you're filling this then we got you but also too you don't want to sit there and talk about it for 30 minutes before you actually introduce it so there's a fine line right there genuinely speaking or generally speaking i like to do one maybe two scenes around it and then i'm immediately going into the product itself now the next thing is what i like to call talking about something no one wants so when you talk about something no one wants what will happen is i'll barely get any spin and <laughs> i mean to be fair it won't really even get much sales and let me just show you just real quick i'm only gonna play like the first like second or two how to romanticize your life this summer i can't tell you one person who i know and i've done hundreds of research as well i can't tell you one person i've seen from research that literally says i want to romanticize my life i just no so if you call out something no one wants and you're not really gonna get any sales why because no one wants that thing no one wants to romanticize their life. I don't even know what that means, right? You know, maybe if I want to give a romantic gift this summer to my girlfriend, or maybe I want to try this new romantic activity with my girlfriend this summer, but how to romanticize your life. No one's just sitting there like, wow, I really want to romanticize my life. It's like, no, it's just not going to happen. Next one. Yeah, <laughs> I can't tell you what's going on here. This is just picture of a person holding a product. I don't know what this product does. I don't know what this product is for. I don't know if this product is for me. I don't know what's going on here. And typically we'll see these as problems as well, because if we are building an ad that reaches a lot of people, we want to be able to call those people out. We buy either the problem or the pain or the solution or desire they have. And there's nothing here for that. This makes a great maybe retargeting ad, but retargeting ads they make up maybe five ten percent of revenue we always want to be in the mindset of creating ads that 
spend hundreds of thousands of dollars profitably because we want to scale and we want to make a lot of money and this ad just simply just does not do that right there another example right here of but how does this benefit me why are we the conscious choice we're organic we're sustainably sourced we're eco-friendly packaging we're shipped in recycled box blah blah plastic free yes there is a market of people that care and give a fuck about this thing right here. The problem is that does not scale. People who care about these things right here, organic, sustainably sourced, eco-friendly packaging, shipped in a recycle box, they don't want to see this in an ad. They want to see how it's going to make their life so much better. They want to see how when they wake up every morning, they're going to feel so amazing. Thank you to this product. These things right here only come into play once they're on the product page and they have your product versus the competitors and are like, okay, which one do I choose? Well, I'm going to go with this one because they're both exactly the same product, but this one's organic. That's when those preferences are going to come into consideration and then lastly this one just great example of too much text so we call out a review right here amazing good work on that but all of this just immediately pushes people away because they see this and they see all this text and it's like yeah i'm not reading that scroll past it less is more when it comes down to actually showcasing like a review for example highlighting a key keep component from it which they do right here but this pushes people away so limit down the text i like to if i'm gonna do a review i'm gonna take two or three big impact words or, or three to four three to six technically big impact words like this then i'll have like you know basically shop now or like maybe like one other little thing and then boom send people to a website but yeah these are some of the worst facebook ads to run learn from my mistakes learn from my team's mistakes it's me being publicly transparent right here about not such great ads we've created in our time and hopefully you learn a thing or two from this if you did hit that like button Hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you do a little over 100K a month in revenue with your store and you want us to help you come in and help you scale to multiple seven figures a month like we've done for four other brands, then click the link below to have Nick Terrio run your ads. If you do less than $100,000 a month and you want me to come in, mentor you, review your ads, review your ad account, give you ad ideas of different things you should do in your stuff to improve performance, then click the link below to have Nick Terrio mentor you. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Nick Terrio. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.